let's take a look at Titan. So we're coming into the sub. This is the only toilet available on a deep diving submersible. Best seat in the house. You can look out the viewport. We put a privacy screen in, turn up the music, and uh, it's uh, very popular. We have our uh, control screen here, our sonar screen here, and we can put any image we want in the back. We've taken a completely new approach to the sub design, and it's all run with this game controller and these touch screens. So if you want to go forward, you press forward. If you want to go back, you go back turn left, turn right, go down, go up. And it's Bluetooth, so I can hand it to anybody. And it's meant for a 16-year-old to throw it around and it's super durable. We keep a couple of spares on board just in case. This is the second year we've been out to the Titanic. Uh, we went out in uh, five uh, eight-day missions. We did uh, about 10 dives to the wreck site of the Titanic, and we did an extra dive on an undiscovered reef that we found. Stockton Rush is the CEO of OceanGate, a company that offers dives to the Titanic in a one-of-a-kind carbon fiber submersible for $250,000 per person. An experimental submersible vessel that has not been approved or certified by any regulatory body and could result in physical injury, disability, emotional trauma, or death. Where do I sign? The sub has about as much room as a minivan. So this is not your grandfather's submersible. <laughs> We only have one button, that's it. It should be like an elevator. You know, it shouldn't take a lot of skill. I couldn't help noticing how many pieces of this sub seemed improvised. We can use these off-the-shelf components. I got these from uh, Camper World. We run the whole thing with this game controller. <laughs> Come on! Slow down, slow down, it's just in front of us. Just we are in front of the anchor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, here's the back, guys. Again, yeah. <laughs> You guys see it? Look at that though, how it just kind of emerges out. Yeah. That is it. That is otherworldly. And there it was. This sub has seven different return to the surface backup systems. So sandbags that drop off, uh, lead pipes that drop off, the legs can drop off, there's an air balloon, there's thrusters. Um, and one of them works even if everybody on board is unconscious. So one of them is a time release thing that sends the sub to the surface after X amount of hours. So maybe they're out there bobbing away, but remember they're bolted in from the outside. So they have no way to get out or get more air. This is not a thrill ride for tourists. It's much more. It is an eight day, one of a kind experience. You will be trained as a mission specialist and record valuable findings. Commander Paul-Henri Narjolet leader of 30 dives to the Titanic wreck site. He and other world-class experts will be on all our missions to give you an unrivaled, up-close and personal OceanGate Titanic experience. The sub for me, it's uh, very well done because it's uh, simple. Uh, generally, they have a lot of equipment and uh, a lot of switch. And on this one, you don't have because you work with a screen and with a keyboard and it's very easy to do that. You are not only a passenger seat and uh, waiting that the time is running and just looking outside, you, you can do something inside, you can be a, really a member of the team and that, that's great. Don't miss the opportunity to be part of history. The Ocean Gate Titanic Experience. There's truly nothing else like it. What could possibly have happened? Uh. Worst, worst situation is, you know, something happened to the hull and, uh, and our fear is, is that, you know, it imploded at around 3,200 meters. And is there anything that the U.S. Navy can do right now? No, no. I mean, I, I don't see anything that can happen at this point. I mean, I'm trying to be, you know, somewhat cautious and, you know, don't want to basically be the naysayer of what's going on. But I, when you're talking 6,000 pounds per square inch, it is a dangerous environment. More people have been to outer space than to this depth of the ocean. And when you're diving in these situations, you have to, you have to cross, your, cross your T's, dot your I's. You have to do everything absolutely perfect and by the book. And, you know, throw in a bunch of tourists in a new sub that, you know, was just created over the last several years. Um, it's not looking good, Jesse. 
He, he's a really interesting guy. He's, he's a blue blood. He's a direct descendant of two signers of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, he has experience designing and flying airplanes. He wanted to be an astronaut. He has experience designing and building these submersibles. Um, and he freely acknowledged that this is not, uh, you know, it's not a, an airline. It's not a Toyota. He, he would say, safety is a relative, relative term. If you want to be completely safe, don't get out of bed. So, so to Stockton, risk is part of life. And if you want to do amazing things, 